Hey everybody, it's Tyler Austin from Midgard Strength and Conditioning. Out here taking a walk with my dog, enjoying the beautiful fall New Hampshire weather here. Here ringing in the background, that's just the bell I have attached to my dog's collar. Easier to keep track of him that way, uh, but he's having the time of his life. So anyways, I want to take a moment here to talk about something that's been on my mind recently, and that is how you should look to science and research to guide your strength and conditioning and uh, nutrition. The reason for this is, is quite simple. Uh, unfortunately, the scientific studies and the research uh, within the field of strength and conditioning, and especially nutrition, are, are, are honestly just horrendous. Uh, this is for a variety of reasons, most of which I won't dive into here. But the biggest reason is because these studies and this research is conducted by people who simply have no experience in the field, getting not only themselves strong, but normal everyday people. So ultimately, these studies come out flawed. And what you'll see is, you know, within these studies, the training methodologies and the programming are totally unrealistic, absurd, and it's just clear that it's not something that you'd actually do in you know, reality. Um, so it's, it's obvious that these are done by people who have absolutely no experience in the field. But the biggest problem is that you'll get these people, particularly on the internet and these people who want to sound smart or look smart, and they'll criticize, lecture, and attack you know, someone like me, uh, and they'll criticize and attack my methodologies, you know, my programming, etc., because it doesn't fit the scientific literature, the current scientific research. Uh, and then, you know, that's fine, uh, but it's it's most egregious when they go after somebody like you know Marty Gallagher, who has not only trained and uh, gotten hundreds, if not thousands, of normal everyday people strong, but has also trained and coached some of the greatest lifters. Uh, to ever walk the earth, people like Kirk Kowalski, Ed Cohn, you know, world champion lifters, and has also spent you know 50 years within in the industry. So they will attack people, someone like that, and and you know criticize his methods that clearly work uh, and has been proven to work for a very long time because you know it doesn't fit the current scientific literature. Uh, so you know that's when it's most egregious, but. You know, I'll get people, you know, I'll say something like post office lifters really only need to train the major barbell movements once or twice a week. They should train them heavy and hard. And I'll get some greasy nerd in the comments or in my DMs and they'll say that that's, you know, that's crazy. And and post office lifters need to train the, the major barbell movements three or four more times a week because the current research shows that the more you train a lift, uh, per week, uh, the better your progress is likely going to be in all of this. And in, to anybody who actually has experience, lots of experience training post office lifters, you know, like myself, uh, this is absolutely ridiculous and completely wrong. But again, it's okay. These people can continue to keep up on the current scientific literature and troll the internet and I'll be in the field getting and getting people and normal everyday people strong. So again, stop looking to scientific research and literature to guide your programming and your nutrition, your strength and training, uh, and look to people and, and methods that have been proven for decades to get normal everyday people strong and have also been used to build world champion lifters as well. Hope you, have, hope you uh, found this helpful. Thanks so much.